Hey dolls, bet you can't guess what this video is about. Hmm, did you guess? Yeah, Wet n Wild. One of my absolute favorite cosmetics companies. They have stepped up their game so much that it is ranunculus. Okay, I went a couple weeks ago in search of the flora and fauna spring collections by Wet n Wild. I had seen them on YouTube everywhere and I decided that I was going to get my hands on them. But when I went to go buy them at Walgreens, they only had the Flora collection left. Oh no, I'm sorry. They did have the Fauna, but I only had enough money with me to buy the Flora. I was so upset, and when I went back, the Fauna was gone. So now I'm on search for the Fauna collection because I have the Flora. So I'm just going to show you real quick. It came in this really cute little packaging. And this is what it came with. It came with a nail polish, which is a green color, and it's absolutely beautiful. Just look at that sparkle. It's just so pretty. And this one is called Twining Vines. It's just a beautiful green color. Don't mind my nails. I did my nails um, in my last video for a prize mail video. I had won some Essie Nail Polishes, the Morticia collection, so I wanted to show the colors, and that's why my nails all don't match. <laughs> but anyways, this is the beautiful green color. I absolutely love it. Then it came, and I have swatches to show you guys, so don't mind my hands either. Then it came, oh, if I can get it out of there, with a glassy gloss, which I absolutely love, Wet n Wild's lip gloss. It's wonderful. And this one is such a cute name. It's called Mow the Glass. It's number 314A Mow the Glass. And it's like a corally pinky color. Peachy. Corally peachy pink. It's really nice. Then, of course, it came with the trio called Flora. And then it came with this blush, which is so pretty when it's on, you guys. And it is called... 833E Mellow Wine. Very pretty color. Now I'm going to show you guys swatches. And of course, you know, you've seen this. It's beautiful. It's got like the lime green, the turquoise bluish green, and the matte looking orange that has a bit of shimmer in it. Very pretty. And there goes the little things. I always do that. It's called 33829 Flora. So if you guys can get your hands on this, definitely do, because the colors are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I always drop these out of here. I don't know why I don't take them out. Okay, now I'm going to show you the swatches. That is the blush. Look how pretty it is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just a really pretty, rosy, mauve blush color. Then up here, we have the eyeshadows. Look how pigmented and beautiful they are. That is the orange color. Very pretty. That is the turquoise bluish green color. Another very pretty color. And that's the lime green color. I can only imagine the color look that I'm going to do with these because they're beautiful. So those are the gorgeous colors, guys. I absolutely love them. Now let's talk about Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has so stepped up their game. It's, like I said, ranunculus. These colors, like, for instance, I want to show you this one. Okay. Look at these colors. Where are you going to find a color like this? Look at that. I mean, it's seriously beautiful. I'm going to swatch that for you guys because it's my favorite color out of all of these. It's like a chameleon color. I don't know how to explain it. But I'm sure you guys have seen it, and if you own this palette, you know what I'm talking about. This color is the coolest color in the world. It's just, it's seriously, look at that. Where are you going to find, literally, an eyeshadow color like that? I, I've never seen, now, the only thing I've ever seen that came close to this color. I don't know if you guys remember True Colors, I think they were called. And they were pigments that you could buy in um, the mall. And um, we actually, I worked at Sally's Beauty Supply. They sold them there for a little while. And you could stack them. And they had a color called Chameleon. And it kind of reminds me of that. But it's 
it's just beautiful. It's like a metallic-y color. Just look at this color. It's just beautiful. Where are you going to find a color like that? Honestly, I love it. It would look so pretty in a smoky eye. I just love it. These colors, like, okay, right here. This color reminds me of a MAC color. That's why I grabbed some of my MAC palettes. And I know I have it. Yes, Beauty Marked. Okay, I'm going to swatch this one for you. I think, oh yeah. Okay, you see that, right? That's really dark. I mean, I don't know, I'm just eyeing this. But, it's really reminding me of Beauty Marked right now. Let me see. Or is it this one? Okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> okay, we got that one. Oh no, it's this one. Okay, yeah, it's that one. Look at, you see that? Like, seriously? I don't know, they just look identical to me. That's, I was wrong with that one, sorry guys. Let me put that one back. And of course I swatched the wrong one. Hello! Um, but for a minute it just looked really similar. Actually, that one looked similar to Soba, but mine broke. <laughs> so, let's see here. So I did swatch that for no reason, but look at that. The pigmentation is just insane. It's, it's like really wow. It's just really pretty. I mean, those two colors right there would look awesome together. Okay, so we're going to swatch this this color right here. <clears throat> and then we're going to swatch. See, look at that. Beauty marked. Okay. See, actually, those colors are very similar, except the first one I swatched has more brown. The second one is more black. Okay? And now, I'm going to clean my finger, and then we're going to swatch Beauty Marked by MAC. I'm sure somebody's already done this. I can't see that it hasn't been done, but I just eyed that, and it just made me think of that color. Oh, wow. Poppy's over there eating his bed. Poppy! Okay. Okay, this is crazy. Okay. Can you tell the difference? To be honest with you, The Wet n Wild looks prettier to me. It has more sparkle and it's way more pigmented. It took two swipes of the Wet n Wild to get that. It took me three or four to get that of MAC. So, yeah, but they're like the same color. And the third one over here, obviously, it's more brown. These more are more with black hues to it. But I can't, it's just crazy. You know, like, there's their black, too. Um, Max Black Tide, which I do have. Let me find it. So, yeah, this is the Petal Pusher. So, the third color down on the right side of the palette is just, like, Black, or, um, Beauty Marked by MAC. It's crazy. There's probably more than one dupe in these, I'm sure. Um... Let's see. Black Tide. It's like the popular black color from MAC, right? Okay. Let's check it out. I'm going to do it right here. Okay, so that's Black Tide. Sorry, i got to clean my fingers. 
Okay. So that's Black Tide right there, right? I know they said that there is... See, is that a black one in there? I don't know. Um... Hmm. Well, let's put them next to each other and see. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. That is crazy. Okay, hold on, gals. I'm going to swatch it. Look at that. The Wet n Wild one is way more pigment pigmented and sparkly, but yeah. I'm in shock. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not really in shock. I already knew. But I just can't believe how awesome the pigmentation is on this eyeshadow. I mean, of course, MAC is still awesome. I'm not saying anything bad about MAC. But... Hmm. No, I'm just kidding. I'm trying to see here. Not as similar. Bio green. No, it's darker. That's way darker. But... Well, maybe bitter. Bitter is actually one of Max colors that is, I don't even know why I bought it. I thought it was going to be bright, and it's really not pigmented at all. But that kind of looks yellowy. I don't know. Um, I'm sure there's way more dupes in these palettes. I do know that this one, this Vanity, I think it's called. Oh, no, Pride. It has beautiful colors in it. And this white, you guys, I'm going to show you, is so matte. There's just no reason for me to even buy um, Gesso by MAC anymore. Okay, I'm going to swatch it right here. It's really white. It's just awesome. And then this is Gesso by MAC. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a good white. It's awesome. It's, the Wet n Wild is just more pigmented, I guess. I don't know. It's awesome. So if you can get your hands on these Wet n Wild, wild palettes, I know there's some that I, I'm going to have to order online because you can't get them anymore in stores. But I'm telling you, the colors are just absolutely beautiful. Um, I love them. You know, of course I love my MAC colors, but this is not one of my favorite colors um, to use for a highlight. It's called Brulee, Cream Brulee, 251 Cream Brulee. And it's just a beautiful flesh tone beigey color. It's really pretty. I don't, like, have any room to swatch anything. Let's see. I put it right there. It's just really pretty for a um, highlight color. I use it all the time. Very pretty. So, let's see. Before I go, let's. T I'm going to shut these. Because we know that there's a bunch of dupes in a lot of the MAC palettes. We're going to move those to the side. So we got this one which is Petal Pusher. There's just absolutely beautiful colors in here. This one's caught my eye too. This one actually looks like a color. Oh my god. Look at that. It's just so pretty like I can't get over these colors. Look how pretty that is. Seriously, that's beautiful. Now, I just seen... A, sorry, guys. <laughs> I just seen a color that was similar right here. Star Violet. It's 
similar. Not the same, but similar. Let's see. Mm. That is crazy, you guys. Mm, they're kind of, no, they're not really the same, but the Wet and Wild one is, oh my god, it's just gorgeous. Like, I haven't really used these palettes yet. Um, I was waiting to review them. I've used a couple of them. So, I am, um, like, really excited to actually use them. Oh, oh no, I got something on my Hello Kitty. Poppy's like, What? What happened? What happened? What are you doing over there? Oh, I'm gonna have to wash her. I haven't even used her yet. Okay, now this one is called Spoiled Brat. This is a real popular one, I know that. Look at this black. Oops. I just want you guys to see that how pigmented very pretty there's a silver this would be a beautiful for a smoky eye with a pink pop in there look at that silver oh my goodness this was the first one I bought actually and then look at the pink absolutely gorgeous I'm just really loving this there's nowhere to swatch silver pink the black. There's the silver pink in the black. I didn't grab very much black. It's pretty pigmented. I just didn't push down that hard on it. So that's Spoiled Brat. Which is awesome. I'm not going to have time to swatch these all, but I will show you some of the colors. This one is called Silent Treatment. I've heard a lot about this one. I haven't used it yet, but yeah, the colors are very pretty. Very pretty colors. So that one's silent treatment. I have to keep wiping my fingers off. Sorry, guys. I'm telling you, you guys got to go out and get these. And most of you probably already have them, I'm sure. But if you don't, they're inexpensive. I think I paid like two bucks for these. It was like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine. I'm not exactly sure. You guys seen this one? This one is beautiful. Ugh. The definer color is my favorite. I love it. And this one is called Comfort Zone. Definitely go pick that up. This one is called Petal Pusher. And you guys seen that one. The colors are beautiful. Go pick it up. I think these are like $4.99 or $3.99. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you can get your hands on the Flora Collection, definitely grab it because it's awesome. They have awesome colors. And then over here I have... Don't Steal My Thunder, which I showed you guys that. Great for a smoky eye. These colors are just so pigmented. It's insane. Getting eyeshadow all over my Hello Kitty. This one is Cool as a Cucumber. And this has a beautiful purple color in it. Like, look at that. Just beautiful. And um, really pretty greens. perfect I mean just beautiful so that's cool as cucumber this video is like 18 minutes and something long sorry guys but I had to talk about the wet and wild I mean how couldn't I it's awesome all this time this gem has been hiding in our drugstore okay I know they changed their formulation because I know for a fact their stuff didn't used to be as great as this. Because I, you know, in high school bought Wet n Wild. But, oh, this one is called Walking on Eggshells. Beautiful colors. I guess I did kind of swatch all of them for you guys. Not all, every single one, but pretty colors, seriously. <sighs> Definitely need to check these out. And then the single ones I have, because I don't have very many of the singles, just a couple that I picked up. I have the cream brulee that I showed you guys. Perfect for a highlight. Really pretty color. Ew. Oh, I thought my light. My phone's probably going to die. And then we got 
unplugged. S yeah, it's like a white with glitter. Very pretty, guys. It's a very pretty white. I'll show you. White with glitter. Uh-oh. Okay. Then we got Nutty. It's a beautiful brown color. A really pretty brown color. Then we got Envy, which I know for a fact that this is a dupe of one of those greens in my MAC palette. I know, it looks just like it. It's not in this one. I think it might be. Yep. Humid. Look at that. That's insane. Seriously. Wow. You guys, I can't even tell the difference between those two. Like, I wish I could swatch these. I don't have any room. Yes, I do. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I know I have to wrap this up. It's like 21 minutes long, and... My phone's starting to die, but I just want to show you this. Look at that. There's no difference. My light's not really doing it justice because of the way I'm holding my hand, but there is no difference. Humid and Envy are the same color. <laughs> so, what, um, $14 or $11 versus, what was this, a $1, dollar, $1.50? Yeah, the exact same color, you guys. And then the one last thing I want to talk about before I go is the blushes. My favorite one is Heather Silk. It's called Heather Silk. It's a beautiful pink color. Absolutely gorgeous. As you guys can see, I will swatch that right there in between my tattoos. Look at that beautiful pink color. I could have done it there. Sorry, I don't know why I didn't. But it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm telling you, go buy Wet n Wild. It's awesome. It's inexpensive. It's wonderful makeup, especially if you're just starting out. So definitely go check them out, guys. They're awesome. And I will see you dolls later. Bye. Say bye, booby-doo. Say bye. Did you go bye-bye? Say bye.